Hi guys, today is Monday and I'm feeling a little bit of a crisis. I'm feeling like kind of super duper stressed because I cut my finger last night. It's clean and disinfected and bandaged. I even like put a glove on my hand when I took a shower. It just was bleeding a lot and it still really hurts. Not so much once I like bandage it and like get a little compression on it. It doesn't hurt right now, but like when I take off the band-aid, it's still like really raw and like started bleeding again. It's not like down to the bone. Like I kind of just like swiped some skin off the top. I need my finger to type and I'm like annoyed at myself because I had like all of these goals yesterday of finishing my secure transactions outline and editing videos and getting myself like ready for finals because here we are. It's that like week that I don't have class. Um, and I ended up cutting my finger, so I'm annoyed at myself, but I'm trying to give myself some grace. I've taken this morning really slowly. It's like almost 10 o'clock, it's 9.46 right now, um, and I took a shower, I had coffee, I'm just like moving really slowly, and I'm gonna work on my secure transactions outline today, and I might do one of my select topic outlines because that class just really overwhelms me. And if I could do like, basically in that class, it's like all bar tested classes, right? So the midterm was on the first five subjects we learned, which are all 1L subjects, torts, um, contracts, civil procedure, criminal law, also criminal procedure, but those are tested kind of together on the bar. And then property. So five, kind of six, if you count the crimes together. Now we're doing the rest of the bar tested subjects, which are not taught during your first year. I mean, constitutional law might be depending on the school, but that's constitutional law, evidence, business associations, which is like business associations slash corporations. It's all on there. It's like at our school, you can either take business associations, which tests all sorts of businesses and corporations, or you can take agency and partnership law and corporations but whatever all of that's on the bar remedies but we're actually he told us we're not really being tested on remedies because it's usually with torts and contracts on the bar and he's we're not being tested on the stuff that was on our midterm like it's not cumulative remedies and then community property and wills and trusts so i didn't take wills and trusts community property but i took the other one so i'm like maybe i should go through <laughs> these guys today and kind of get my rule statements in order and kind of like prepare my charts that I used for the final exam for like some of the subjects. Because I remember when I was studying for the midterm, I just like sat down at my desk and started and went like all day. And it frustrated me how long it took me to get through certain subjects. But I think now, because I have like over a week, if I do like one or two subjects a day maybe that'll put me in a good spot to then start doing practice tests so i'm just like reevaluating my plan i know i'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of doing um but i'm just trying to get myself into a good headspace because i felt so discouraged last night but then i was chatting to some friends and they were like this is the universe telling you you need a break i needed to spend some time like not worrying about school and just like focusing on other aspects of my life. And I think that went really well. I have two, I have some emails I need to respond to from leasing agents about possible units uh, to move into once I'm done with this lease. I have one leasing agent who I made a really great connection with. She's amazing. And she's a unit available like around the 4th of July, but my lease isn't up until August 1st. So I would have like a month of crossover and I'm not sure that I want to do that, but she's like, the latest I can hold it is that. And I'm like, I don't want to move that soon. Like, can you hold it like three more, three more weeks? <laughs> um, so I don't have to pay for two places for so long, but it's at a relatively good price for the numbers at that place. So I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I gotta make decisions at some point. Um, but I still have lots of time. It's still April. Um, basically, I just need to let my roommate know and my landlord, who's her dad, <laughs> know that I'm moving out with like 30 days notice. So I should know by the beginning of 
July where I'm gonna be, which is exciting. I think what we're gonna do now is open up the windows and the blinds and stuff because that just brings in a lot of positive energy. Um, I brewed some coffee while I was in the shower too. So I drank an iced coffee, but I also have like a strong hot coffee brewing. So lots of caffeine today will be good. I think my stuff from Nordstrom is coming today. And I really hope the dress that I ordered looks good on me. I got like a casual dress just like for myself. Also, I'm going to dinner with my friend Alyssa on Wednesday. I'm so excited. Um, Alyssa and I went to undergrad together um, in New York, and but she's from California um, and lives in Orange County, but she works like a job that's like not a typical nine to five. So it's it's been hard for like the two of us to find time to meet up because her schedule varies week to week and all that. So with my like very strict school schedule, like I'm available on the weekends, but she's not because she works. So whatever, but Wednesday. She gets off work kind of early, so we're gonna meet up and go to dinner somewhere. And I also scheduled my second vaccination appointment, which is May 7th, and I'm so excited to be fully vaxxed. I'm half vaxxed, and um, it is such a comfort when I go into public spaces knowing that like my risk of contracting this illness that has like like terrified me for so long and has impacted so many people in such a terrible, terrible way makes me feel better knowing that like Makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, I still wear a mask, social distance, keep my my bubble small. I mean, my bubble is literally just me. One of the first things I thought, you guys, when I cut open my finger, not cut open, but when I sliced my finger, was, uh, did I mess up my manicure? Priorities, girl. Let's stop talking. Let's let some sunshine in. I make some uh, cafe. And then we'll sit down with my lappy top put on some good tunes and get moving and grooving for finals. I'm also kind of hungry. Maybe I'll make a smoothie too. I don't know. Hi, it's a little bit later. I've actually gotten a good chunk of stuff done on my secured transactions outline. I made this big salad with lettuce, cucumber, hard boiled eggs, and uh, vegan chicken patty things, and honey mustard. And I have this like heist docu-series on in the background while I'm typing, um, but I'm gonna take a break and eat. It's 1.20, I have class, my last class with law school today at, um, 420 so I have a couple more hours to keep getting stuff done before class and then I'll get right back to it after class Very excited to have my leftover pizza. I don't know if I showed the pizza yesterday after the fingy debacle um, <laughs> But I ordered a pizza that got delivered and I have leftovers so yeah. You guys I feel so weird today. I feel less weird than I did yesterday and yesterday I was having one of those like I can't focus, get anything done, and I'm actually getting things done today. Um, highly caffeinated, you know the dream, the dream, the deal, living the dream. I took a mini break to charge my laptop because I've been working in here on the couch. <sighs> I put on this cute shirt, um, just this pale pink long sleeve top, and I'm actually going to put this back on. Um, my laundry I said like okay so yesterday I set like goals for myself which you know I didn't really uh, reach a lot of them in terms of editing and getting my uh, secure transactions outline done because of you know miss finger and miss mind <laughs> did not want to focus um, and my other goal was to finish my laundry which if you look at my bed I also did not do I slept with a duvet cover last night with no, er, my brain. I slept with a duvet last night with no cover and these two pillows <laughs> at the bottom of my bed because they were not dry. These suckers are done now. I also have literally a pile of dirty laundry next to my bed because my laundry basket is um, over by the washing machine 
because I put the towels in it and the towels are dry and clean, but I wanted to put them in the wash just for like, not the wash. I wanted to put them in the dryer for like maybe five minutes just to get the wrinkles out. And then I could fold them while they were nice and warm. So they're in my laundry basket. So um, my dirty clothes are just in a pile next to where I place my head at night. Probably not very sanitary. Y'all, I just had my last class of law school. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That's so crazy. I can't believe that was my last class. I'm like getting kind of sad thinking about it. Like I've been kind of in finals mode since Friday when I finished work because well, kind of not really, you've seen me struggle kind of getting my mindset focused, but um, yeah, I've just like kind of had the mindset that like now it's time to like start getting ready for exams. And so I, I had this class and I was like, oh, well, kind of weird, but um, I don't know, it, it hasn't like hit me that like it's my last class ever like I'm never gonna <sighs> getting emotional <laughs> I'm never gonna be in a law school class ever again like that was my last one weird I'm gonna go for a run <laughs> because I haven't gone for a run in a really long time um been like at least like a week to probably two closer to two weeks i don't know where my headphones are i think they're in my purse somewhere i think it's been like closer to two weeks since i've gone on a run so i am just gonna put on my running gear <laughs> just kind of like the same stuff i wear every single time i go for a run um preferably these shorts they're from amazon that i bought um a long time ago like at the very beginning of the pandemic and they're starting to get loose which I love. They're the brand Arison, and I have them in the size extra large, but they're like this gray color. I love them because they have pockets, so I can put my key uh, for my apartment and my phone in there, and then because it's chilly out right now, I'm gonna run in my sweatshirt, and then I already have a sports bra on. Got some little socks, so I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna do an alternate run walk around like this hilly area i like to kind of like do alternating running and walking <laughs> uh, on like the flat and the hilly parts and then run down the hill because it feels really good um but i'm gonna go find my headphones i think they're in my bag there and change and then i'll see you guys when i get back um we're gonna have pizza for dinner tonight because i have leftover pizza i know it's not the healthiest but i deserve it I can't believe I'm done with law school. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Well, I'm not done, I'm just done with class. I still have a lot of work ahead of us, ladies and gents. Lots of studying to do. Wild, oh my God. All right, I'm back. I did like two miles in a, a half hour, which ends up being 15 minutes for each mile, but I walked and ran and walked more at the end. I did like two miles, almost two miles at a, like a 13 something minute pace between running and walking and then I walked at the end just to cool down. We're gonna go heat up some pizza now. My battery light is blinking so I have to swap it out. And like my appetite is like, hello, it's time to eat. <laughs> started doing uh, when I eat things that are quote unquote unhealthy you know like foods that um foods like pizza foods like nachos ice cream popcorn things like that um I used to like make a huge serving 
put it in a container and then sit down and mindlessly just eat the whole thing. So what I've been doing to try to eat more mindfully when it comes to this stuff is to actually think about the food that I'm consuming. So I heat, I heat it up four pieces of pizza because um, I have six, which is like half of the extra large pizza, which is a lot of pizza. And I ate half of it last night. So I heated up like one third of it today, if that makes sense. So I still have two like bigger slices left that I can have tomorrow. And I told myself, I'm only gonna heat up four because that sounds like a lot. That's kind of like what I think would fill me up right now. And if I heat up all of them, I'm gonna feel pressured to eat all of them because sometimes I just really like the way food tastes, but then I don't listen to my body and like actually think on how it's making me feel. Um, one of my biggest things with mindful eating recently has been to think about what the food contributes to me in terms of taste and how my body feels. So does my body want to eat this right now, right? Like, is it appetizing? Um, do I look at that and I say, ooh, I wanna eat that, you know? Like, I feel that way about pretty much every food that I eat, even healthy things like salads and stuff. I, I wanna make it as appetizing as possible so I get excited and I don't feel deprived. But the flip side of that is that, is the food that I'm eating going to make me feel good, not just now while I'm craving it, but an hour from now or tomorrow or something like that. Like, is this gonna make me feel good overall? So last night I mindlessly ate a bunch of pizza, which I'm totally okay with because I cut my finger open and I was going through a lot and that's how I coped with the whole finger situation. But tonight I wanna think more mindfully. So, <laughs> it's a big long spiel about eating, but I only heated up four out of the six pieces. Um, some of them are thinner like this, this little guy um, and then I put two on my plate and so I'm gonna go sit at the table and I have two more over here so I'm gonna sit at the table eat my pizza and then if I feel like I want the third and fourth slices then I can have it if not I can just go and pop it back in the fridge um, if I eat the third and fourth slices and find out I'm still hungry <laughs> I'm impatient oh my gosh I can't even wait till the end of my spiel there's other things for me to eat. One of the things that contributed to my binge eating was feeling like panicked and just like euphoria when I ate large quantities of food. And it was kind of like, I need to eat this now. Like I, I want to eat it all now. And I would get this like almost like evil joy <laughs> inside of me where I'm like, this is something bad I shouldn't be doing. But what I try to remind myself when I'm eating stuff like this, is that I'm gonna eat what fuels my body, what feels good in my body, and if I don't eat it today, it's gonna be there tomorrow. There's no need to eat it all now. There's no need to, there's like no, I'm not being deprived of anything, you know? Um, I have so many other amazing, delicious snacks in the fridge that if I eat what I have and I'm still unsatisfied, there's other things I can eat. Um, so, we're gonna take these two slices of pizza over there to the table. Continue watching what we're watching on YouTube. Got a big thing of water. And then, I'm, I can't wait to tell you guys, I'm gonna try a new thing after dinner tonight. It's gonna be a whole new plan for finals, so get pumped. Okay. So let's talk about the thing that I'm going to do. I hope you guys were on pins and needles. Okay, there we go. My hair looks, look at this. Look at this craziness. Um, basically, I'm going to bed soon and it's 7.22. And I think what I'm going to do, and I think something that might help me with my focus and getting my routine schedule back is waking up early. I'm a morning person. I get shiz done in the morning. I'm not productive in the evening. I just wanna like, zen out and go to sleep usually. Um, I only am productive in the evening if I have like a deadline. Um, so I'm going to bed and I want to be asleep by eight. It's 7.23. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of ice cream and do my nighttime routine. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. I'm gonna see you tomorrow morning. I'm gonna set my alarm for like four and we're gonna get up really early. So I think eight to four is like a decent night of sleep and we'll get up, we'll get some homework done,
productive before the sun even rises. I think that'll just make me feel really good. But for right now, I'm gonna disconnect. I still haven't accomplished my goal for yesterday, which means I'm behind the schedule I set for myself, but that's okay. Tomorrow's a new day, and we're, all, we're gonna get all of this done by the end of reading week and finals. I'll see you guys in the morning for my little band-aid. Goodbye. Good morning, it's 4.33 a.m. I woke up at four, I've been on TikTok, and now we're gonna go make some coffee. That took me like about 15 minutes to do like all my skincare and brush out my hair and brush my teeth and stuff. The coffee should be brewed and we can sit and have a nice cup of coffee. I'm gonna sit and enjoy it on the couch um, before I start working and then we'll start studying. It's just about five o'clock right now. I wanted to get up at four and like start this at four but I was having a really hard time like physically getting out of bed. Like I got up immediately went to the bathroom and then just plopped back into bed. I need to turn that alarm off. I keep just like um, snoozing it. I don't think I mentioned that we don't have anything on the agenda today other than studying. Oh, it's very dark. Tomorrow, however, is Wednesday and I have a tour set up at an apartment building in the morning. And then I'm going to dinner with my friend Alyssa from college in the evening. So I know it's like supposed to be one of my study days, but I'm hoping doing something like that in the middle of reading week will actually be like a good refresher for me. Um, like a good like thing to break up all the studying, if that makes sense. Like It's very thick today. I think I put a lot of coffee grinds in. This is my favorite oat milk. It is superb. Nothing compares, honestly. I used to do it every day with my parents when I was home. We call it Sunrise Club. And in the morning, before the world starts, you know, and things pick up and you have to start getting ready for your day, we would wake up and not so much at five, <laughs> more like 5.36. Um, we would just kind of sit around the fire. My dad would light a fire and we'd have our coffee. It's everyone mentally awoke for the day i love that i've always loved just like having slow mornings it can be hard when you get into such a busy routine to like find the time to slow down i ended up spending quite a bit of time on facetime with my mom and then on tiktok so it is actually <laughs> closer to six now um but i'm gonna start working on my outline. I'm gonna do a Pomodoro style. We're gonna do two hours this morning, stop at eight, make some breakfast, maybe go take a walk, and then get back into it. I'm currently outlining my secure transactions. 
outline. I'm about halfway done, I think. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like after this update because basically my process is I outline all of my notes for the class like they teach you in law school and then for these open note online exams, I take all of my rule statements and write them in like a really simplified version to copy and paste into the exam um, and add like little like things to put in my analysis for um, like to distinguish cases that we've read if like it's factually similar or whatever um, but yeah I'm like making my way through it and there's like quite a bit of information secure transactions is actually really hard but I'm like probably like halfway there so wish me luck hopefully we can get this finished today if not I think that we're gonna have to put a pause button on this because I've been working on this for the past two days and we're gonna need to switch to another subject and also it's Tuesday and my second draft of my directed research is due on Friday and I haven't touched my first draft so yay okay I'll see you guys in a bit all right you guys oh my gosh my lower back just cracked that felt really good that happens sometimes it's like my low 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 back um, but I just wanted to tell you that two hours have gone by. It's eight o'clock. Um, I've gotten like quite a bit done on my outline, but I have quite a bit to go. Um, I'm going to make breakfast now. I think I'm going to, I don't know what I want to have. If I want to do like eggs and potatoes, cause I have like mushrooms and bell pepper. Um, or if I want to do like a smoothie. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go to the bathroom, I'm going to think about it, and then I'm going to start cooking. I'll probably spend like an hour until I get back into doing schoolwork. Maybe we'll watch a YouTube video while I cook something and enjoy it and actually sit and eat the food <laughs> instead of like going straight back to doing work. All right, you guys, I made my breakfast. I made quite a bit of food this morning. It's probably, I don't know if it's too much. Um... It looks like a really big plate, because it is, but I have some strawberries, some scrambled eggs with mushroom, red bell pepper, um, the white part of spring onions and garlic, and then some cheese cooked in too, and then these air fried potatoes. I honestly wasn't intending on making so many potatoes, but I only have like a small amount of potatoes left, and they're large, so I just cut one up and was like I'll just eat whatever I want I've been air frying them recently and it gets them so crispy and so delicious it's amazing I'm watching catfish so I'm gonna um, finish this episode probably maybe not because it's almost nine o'clock already because it took me a long time to cook but I'm gonna finish my breakfast um, and then sit down again and do another two-hour Pomodoro session and then I'll take a break for lunch I mentioned wanting to go on a walk this morning. Maybe I'll do that after I eat. Maybe I'll do that after like an hour of studying. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. I'm trying to go with the flow. You guys, um, things are taking longer than I had originally. I like can't feel my baby toe. My baby toe fell asleep. That felt so weird. Um, I was sitting cross-legged. That's probably why. Um, but... Things are taking me longer than I expected, but that's okay. My laptop is dead. It died while I was on the couch working, but I got um, four hours worth of studying done today and it's noon. I really like sitting out on the couch and not at my chair <laughs> because when I'm in here, I like wanna make my bed and fold my towels and do other things that are productive in other ways. Um, but I'm actually still in my pajamas and it's noon. So I'm trying to think what I should do next. Um, I'm not really hungry for lunch yet, so I wanna do something else that's productive. I was thinking about maybe going out and getting a coffee, but um, I don't think so, because tomorrow I'm going to the, the Torin apartment and I'll probably get a coffee then, so I'll just eat, I'll just drink coffee at home. Excuse me, <laughs> is it yawning? I need to drink more water. Um, 
a part of me is like maybe I should do my exercising now when my laptop charges or I could just sit at my desk and work on stuff but I just did two hours of a Pomodoro so I feel like that's like a natural time for me to take a break because um, I try to do two hours and then a break so yeah let's do our exercise now and then when I come back I'll eat my lunch and then I'll be done with exercise for the day I'll fit in my shower at some point either in the afternoon sometimes when I exercise though if I wait long enough and I'm no longer sweaty I'll just like chill <laughs> in my like kind of dirtiness <laughs> until uh I get get to bed but okay let's do that let me change I'm gonna wear the same outfit as yesterday because it's not like too dirty and basically there's like a mile loop around where I live so I could do two of that in a half hour I can do two loops in less than a half hour but I walk towards the end to cool down um, and that usually makes it in a half hour so let's do that I'll see you guys when I get back from my jog. I'm feeling okay. A little stressed and a little like annoyed with how long this is taking when I'm trying to just like let it, let it be. I have time. I have the exam for this class in a week. So ideally, if I could get my outline done today and I have um, a bunch of like practice exams that I want to take that I found online and my professor's past practice exam and multiple choice questions that I need to do still. I think if I get my outline done today, I can work on those leading up to the exam, closer to the exam, probably this weekend. Um, I just really need to move on to my bar prep class and onto my directed research because the bar prep class is gonna take me a long time to outline and I need to practice and I need to especially practice for the classes that I didn't take like community property and um, wills and trusts so but before I even start taking those tests I need to get like my rule statements all in order and I remember for the midterm it took me ages it took me about a day to do one to two subjects and there were six and that's kind of the pace that I am, am anticipating for this too um, and there's six subjects and I have that final a week from Thursday. So it's doable. It just needs to, I just need to start doing it. So I, I feel better because I'm having a really hard time thinking about doing my directed research second draft when I know I have these exams coming up. So, okay, enough chat, let's go run. Hello, I'm back, red in the face, kind of sweaty, um, I actually, got back like maybe 15 minutes ago and I've been cutting up a watermelon because um, I've had a watermelon for like over a week and I'm afraid that it's gonna go bad. Um, so I cut it up and then we can have watermelon as a snack later. Um, I thought about having it with lunch but I'm just not feeling it right now. I think just carrots and pizza sounds good to me. So uh, the pizza is in the toaster oven heating up and then we're gonna go and put our carrots on the plate and let's have some lunch and then we'll get back into studying. I think my laptop is probably at this point almost all fully charged. Let's see. It's at 76%. So by the time I finish eating, hopefully it's all good. Basically, it's been an hour since I last talked to you guys. It's 105 right now. Um, so we should get back into studying, hopefully at like 130. Because I gave myself an hour to exercise and shower, but I haven't showered yet. So let's say like 45 minutes, which is kind of I don't know I'm trying to do the math because I'm trying not to let myself like not do work for a long period of time and to stay focused but your girl's got to stop to exercise and to eat at some point so we're gonna relax have our pizza and our baby carrots y'all I'm tired uh, making my way through my first afternoon post lunch Pomodoro and it's 3:45, and um, I should have been done by this already, but I think I took a longer break. Um, I have one more cycle left. Contemplating making coffee, but because I'm going to go to bed early. Like, if I was going to bed at 10, I wouldn't drink coffee past, like, 5, 6 o'clock. And now I'm going to go to bed at 8, so I shouldn't drink coffee past 
3, 4 o'clock, right? Yeah, two hours earlier. And it's 3.45, so I'm like, crap. Ugh, I'm tired. <sighs> Got my lemon water. One more Pomodoro session. I don't know what I'm gonna fish, 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 fish. Somehow I'm still on secure transactions, but I'm in like the last like chapter. Like I have, I'm going through the last the material for like the last couple of classes. So that makes me feel good. This has been a good, really good review session. Um, going through all the material and I just want to move on to the next thing. All right, you guys, I did like one Pomodoro and then it ended ended and I kept working and now it's five o'clock and my brain feels like it's going to explode which means I have to take a break and I'm going to cook dinner I've been debating back and forth as to whether I should go and get food out because I have a gift card to in and out but I'm gonna make a healthy decision and make food at home So what I'm gonna do is roast a bunch of vegetables. I have zucchini, carrot. I'm gonna make potato wedges with my last potato. Do some sauteed mushrooms on the stove. I'm also gonna roast, not roast, but I'm just gonna cook one of these chicken things, fake chicken. I'm proud of myself. This is a good decision. I'm glad I'm making it. It's better for my body overall. You guys, I'm so tapped out. I just wanna I just wanna relax. So I think I'm going to relax, which is kind of insane. Um at 6.30 I had dinner. I don't even think I vlogged the finished product. I just ate it. Oh my gosh, it ended up being potato wedges with the carrots and garlic in there, zucchini, and then one of those like vegan chicken patties with some sauteed mushrooms. And then I dipped it all in mayo because I like mayo. I'm having ice cream. Not right now, but I'm taking it out to thaw out a little bit. This Tillamook ice cream, it's the best. If you have it, you should get it. I don't think we have it on the East Coast, but it's so bright. I only got six hours of studying. Well, I guess kind of like seven hours of studying done today, and I'm almost done with my secure transactions outline. So tomorrow, we're gonna have to put a pin in it, and we won't be working on that. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to work on the bar prep class that I'm taking um, and get through some of the subjects, hopefully two subjects <laughs> um, tomorrow. And then um, tomorrow I'm also going on a tour of an apartment complex and meeting one of my friends from college for dinner. So it's gonna be kind of a busy day. Um, it was supposed to be a good break in my studying, but um, it's making me a little anxious thinking about time. So I might cancel one of those things tomorrow if I wake up and I don't feel like I have the time. Um, preferably the apartment tour because I don't wanna bail out on my friend. But I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here for tonight because I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night. 
Um, I need to be asleep in the next hour and a half, so I'm gonna probably watch something on my iPad in bed with some ice cream and call it a day. And then we'll get up at four o'clock tomorrow morning and have a, another productive day. I can't wait to actually show you guys my outline when it's done because it's so pretty and I'm almost there. I only have like a couple more things. <laughs> Good morning, I have coffee brewing. I didn't get up at four, I got up at six. It's 6.02 right now. I've been awake since like 5.30, but just been in bed on TikTok. Um, I'm just waiting for the water to boil on the stove because I'm hard boiling an egg. I haven't decided, or two eggs. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do um, a salad because I have romaine and I have half a cucumber still and there's like those chicken patty things or if I'm gonna do an egg salad sandwich, but I'm leaning towards egg salad just because I had one of those chicken things last night. Yeah, I think I've said it a couple times already, but today I'm touring another apartment um, and then I'm going to dinner tonight with my friend from college. So I really need to get myself in gear and get organized in terms of like school stuff, but I also need to get myself like actually like made up and put on an outfit today. Yesterday I just wore pajamas all day until I changed into clothes to go on a jog and then I stayed in my jog clothes the rest of the day. I just feel really thirsty this morning from having ice cream before bed. It makes me like really dehydrated. Also my flowers are starting to look sad. These ones look a little sad. They're starting to droop. I like filled this almost all the way to the top and it was, um, it's almost empty now. Got some other droopy, droopy droops over here too. What's going on everybody? Why are we drooping? I mean, I think my, my vase isn't like, you guys can't even see. I think my vase is too wide. So like if it had a narrower neck, I feel like they would all stand up straight, but because it's a bigger vase, they kind of go out and that's led some of them to start drooping down. Ikea has some really good ones and I've been wanting to go to Ikea um, for a while because they have some good garden stuff that's like more affordable and cute. But the Ikea, there isn't like, I think the closest one to me, it's like a 20, 30 minute drive. So it's kind of a bit to go like out of my way and then I like to spend a lot of time in Ikea. To be honest, I haven't really felt comfortable going out to like large stores and stuff since um, until I'm vaccinated. I've had my first shot, which makes me like feel a lot more comfortable. Sorry, the eggs are boiling, so I'm setting a timer. But um, I don't know, like the unnecessary stuff like going shopping and going to Ikea and, and things like that. I'm like, I don't really like need to do that and I can kind of hold off until I feel 100% um, confident with my vaccination. So I'm gonna go brush my teeth right now and start getting ready. Um, those, those eggs take about like seven minutes <laughs> to cook so I'm gonna try to go and do something productive in the meantime while I wait. See you guys. Probably when I have a little bit of makeup on. I'm also debating showering and washing my hair this morning. I don't know. Mm. You guys, I feel so good. I did my hair, curled it. I did my makeup, ooh. And I'm wearing my blue light glasses because I spontaneously decided I was gonna just like sit down and power through the end of my secure transactions outline. And I did, and it's done. Amazing. So from there, I have to make my chart with my rule statements and do practice exams. Um, but I'm gonna put a pin in secure transactions for a couple of days and we're, we're gonna circle back to it. Um, it's Wednesday today, so probably on Friday or Saturday because the final is on Tuesday. But I feel really good. I have all my information in one place. If you're in law school or you're going to go to law school, start outlining during the semester. It is, it's such a pain to do it at the end and to go through everything. And it just makes your life so much easier when you have everything in one document. And they tell you that in law school. And I did it when I was a 1L and I was so good, but um, not anymore, so. But now I'm just getting more coffee. Um, I'm gonna get dressed soon. I'm gonna leave. Probably, let's see, this apartment complex is, I 
think like 15 minutes away from me normally, but it's like during the morning commute time. I actually forget which one I'm going to. One moment. Ah, yes, this one. There's so many with like similar names. Yeah, I really like the cabinetry in this one, at least online. Yeah, so it says about 15 minutes and I'm gonna swing by Starbucks on the way. Uh, maybe on the way back. I haven't decided yet, but I do have to drive by my Starbucks, so I'm gonna go. Um, and my tour is at 10 and it's 8.40. And I've already done my hair and makeup. It's gonna take me like 10 minutes to put on an outfit and pick something out and get my bag ready and stuff. So I'm gonna leave, what did I say, 9.30 probably? I don't know if I actually said it. Which gives me like just under an hour. It's been 40. Um, so I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna have a smoothie this morning because I have all of the things to have my morning smoothie. I don't know, I'm just feeling really good, you guys. It makes me feel so good that I finally got something like checked off the list. I mean, there's still quite a bit to do. I haven't even touched remedies, but I don't, honestly, you guys, this might be kind of crazy, but I don't think I'm even going, I'm even going to start remedies until after the first week of finals because I have my two big ones. I mean, remedies is also a big one, but my bar prep one is gonna be really tough and secure transactions took me days to outline. So I think I might not touch remedies at all until like next week which makes me a wee bit nervous because I'm getting my shit second COVID shot on Friday of, not in two days, but a week from two days because um, that's like at the end of the first week of finals. So then if I get sick and I have symptoms and stuff, I have time to be sick over the weekend and my final isn't until Thursday of the following week. Makes me a little nervous to procrastinate all of my studying for that class. I'm super behind on my vlogs, which is kind of a bummer. <sighs> but it's all working out. Let's make a smoothie now. I'm gonna put a podcast on or a YouTube video. Oh, a YouTube video. I've been watching this guy. I really like him. His name is Nick Lewis, and it's his channel is all about interior design. I think he's an interior designer. But I just love hearing his takes on things because. I've never designed my own apartment before. I've never had my own space. Um, and sorry, I'm just like looking at all the furniture and stuff here. Like all of this is my roommate's. The only things that I own are the is this the stuff in my bedroom and it's like Ikea. My bed frame's from Amazon. It's super squeaky. <laughs> I'm like kind of over it because it has that kind of like farmhouse vibe and that's not really me anymore, I don't think. I think I want more Scandinavian clean lines, natural woods, um, earth tones, nice fabrics, and lots of plants. Like that's my dream <laughs> for my next place. Um, I'm actually getting so hyped about touring this, this place. I think they're really similar in price to the place I looked at before. Um, and the only difference is that I think I would rent a studio from this place because with the other place, the studios didn't come with washer dryers or central air. They only had like an air conditioning wall unit and the leasing agent was like, it's good enough because it's a small space. But then on Yelp, I saw that people said it wasn't very nice. <laughs> um, so I would only really rent a one bedroom from the place that I looked at and they're pricey. And I think at this place, I, I think the studio would still fit all of my needs, um, my wants and needs and stuff, and it'll be more affordable than a one bedroom. So my only hesitation with this place is that it's like really, really new. So I'm a little like, because eh, there's not a lot of reviews online and so much of your apartment experience you can learn about ahead of time from Yelp. Like, this is what I think at least. I've never lived in an apartment building, so I could just be talking out of, you know, my butt. But basically, like, you can learn about the property management company. You can learn about how quick they respond to maintenance issues, people's experiences with getting their deposit back, people's experiences with conflicts with neighbors, the thinness of walls and floors and stuff like that that, like, you can't 
get from a leasing agent because they're not gonna like tell you stuff like that even if there are problems so I'm a little like kind of makes me nervous but the fact that it's brand new it's like stunning and their prices are kind of competitive with the surrounding areas so I'm a little like ooh this might be a good deal the only other thing too is that this place is in orange which is where i live um and it'll end up increasing my commute to my clerkship but i really like living in orange and it's still like located near a freeway and stuff so it's not like it would be too difficult of a commute it shouldn't be a little bit longer than it is right now but that's kind of the reality of wherever i move because if i stay in orange county then it's gonna be a long commute because yeah so cheers I'm gonna make a smoothie now thanks for listening to me chat um there won't be too much more in this video about the apartment complex because i'm shooting all of those clips for a video like a, a video that's just can't speak that's specifically about looking for apartments so yeah Stay tuned for that one. I'm really excited for that video too because this is such an exciting time in my life and such like a insane transitional time like moving from the place where I've lived for three years but also transitioning from law school into bar prep and then into like actual legal practice is insane. It's wild that this is happening. So, okay. I think this is the second time I've tried to stop talking and make a smoothie. Um, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, you guys, I'm like a little annoyed because my Starbucks is not letting me mobile order. Um, and I don't really have time to go through the drive through if it's long. So we might have to get Starbucks on the way back, but I thought I would show you guys my outfit. I have this jacket that I thrifted forever ago. It's a Levi's like beige denim jacket. And then this black shell, which I wear all the time. Um, it's from Ann Taylor. I wear it casually, I wear it for work. It's like kind of one of like the most perfect shirts. Um, I have earrings from Amazon, necklaces are from Amazon. Glasses are, I don't, I always forget. They're Prada, which makes me feel fancy. But they're different than the ones I used to study. These are distance glasses. They have like a little bit of brown there gold um i need them to drive because i can't read street signs with my natural eyesight so great this skirt is also thrifted i wonder i go like this you're gonna come back here yeah it's like a midi skirt um i'm really excited because it's like still a little bit tight right here but it used to be so tight that it was uncomfortable and I couldn't wear it when I like started gaining weight so and then I have my bag which is Michael Kors that I bought myself like I think during my first year of law school I didn't have any money to be buying a, a designer bag but I really it was like a treat yourself you worked very hard <laughs> kind of thing um and then for shoes I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna wear these which are like knockoffs of the Gucci loafers from Target, actually. These are from Target. Or, because it's supposed to be hot today, I'm thinking of wearing these, which are black sandals from Amazon that are knockoffs of the Birkenstock ones. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna wear my, my loafers. Um, then we have my keys and I'm to put my car key on here, my house key on here. So funny, the previous people who owned this house were Packer fans. So the key that I got from my <laughs> landlord when they purchased this place, oh my gosh, I have hair in my mouth, is a Packer's key, which I think is so funny. And um, when I like pop into like a store real quick, I'll wear my keys around my neck like a college student like a lanyard and cashiers comment on it all the time they're like oh are you a, a Packers fan and I'm like 
no, my landlord is. I don't know anything about football, nor do I really care, but um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do coffee after the tour because I don't have time and I have water and I didn't drink my smoothie yet, so I'll drink my smoothie on the way over. Okay, you guys, so I'm back from my tour. Um, this, I'm really digging the fact that this skirt fits. It didn't used to fit, it used to be like really tight and I can breathe and it and don't have like rolls coming over the side. <laughs> um, ah, okay, so now that I'm back, I'm gonna do one of my favorite things, which is let the sun shine in. Ugh, amazing, I love light. <sighs> I feel like the tour went pretty well. Um, I really like the place, I think it's stunning. I just have some concerns that I chatted out in that video that I'm putting together. But as an overall thing, I think I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm willing to sacrifice um, size <laughs> for a really nice place. Like the place I looked at first was much larger in terms of like the, like the units were bigger. But having all of these amenities for the same price in a studio or in a smaller one bedroom I feel like it's almost worth it to live in a really, really nice place that's smaller when I'm going to be working every single day in person and not being at home. Um, so I've kind of expanded my horizon a little bit and it was so easy getting home because of where a lot of these apartments are located. They're located right by the freeway that I'm like, oh, I thought this would take me so much longer and I don't think it's actually gonna add that much time to my commute because right now, the way I get to my job, if I like started tomorrow, I would have to drive like between 10 and 15 minutes through like regular street roads, stopping at lights before I finally got to the freeway. And here you're like around the corner from the freeway and like the mileage is longer and obviously with traffic, it would take more time, but um, without traffic, it's like basically the same thing. So I'm just kind of reevaluating some of those concepts I have put into my head about, I can't live there because it's too far or it's too expensive, it's too small, like the units are too small. I want a one bedroom. Um, when I was first looking at places, I remember talking to a friend and I was like, I want a one bedroom with the space for like a home office because I'm going to be working from home, I thought. And she was like, so you want a two bedroom? And I was like, no, I want one plus a den or a two bedroom. But now I'm looking at these places with like studios and like a studio alcove kind of situation where the bed is in like a little alcove that doesn't have any windows or a door. It's like this kind of like little dark three walled bump out. And um, I don't know. It's such a fun and exciting adventure. But I have my coffee. I'm back now, I'm home. I have my blue light glasses on now. Also, I realized the glasses I was wearing earlier were missing one of the little feet. So I have to go get those fixed never ends folks and I'm out of windshield wiper fluid in my car and I don't know how to replace it myself so I have to figure that out okay so I keep like stopping recording to like get the little clips for my moving video um the apartment hunt video this now we're back to the vlog <laughs> um I'm gonna bring my laptop out here I'm gonna sit at the kitchen table and get some work done here we're doing bar prep stuff today so we're working backwards and we're going to go in the reverse order of how we tackled the subjects in class because the last two subjects i didn't take in a formal class so the way we were taught we had evidence then constitutional law then business associations then professional responsibility then wills and trusts then community property so we're going to do wills and trusts and community property today because they're also frequently tested together with this professor. So I want to get all of that wrapped up with a nice bow. 
I took evidence and got the highest grade in the class so I feel like I'm okay with evidence um, I just need to like refine the rules and practice and like you know get rid of the the dust that's on my evidence exam taking skills um, business associations I took last semester and did very well same with professional responsibilities so I'm feeling kind of okay about those constitutional law I had during the semester when the pandemic started and we went past fail and um, I didn't put as much effort into that class. Um, I was kind of like, oh, well, it's not impacting my GPA, I don't care. So I have a lot of work also to do in constitutional law, so. All right, I feel like I've chatted out all of my feelings. Let me go get my laptop. We'll put on some music. Got my coffee. My apologies. I couldn't hear what you said. Woman, I was not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm taking a break right now to have lunch. I did like a 25 minute uh, like Pomodoro focus session. And now I have some bread toasting. I made egg salad this morning. Um, I love the fact that I'm like in a cute outfit. I'm like feeling myself today compared to like the other days where I've just been like in my pajamas. <laughs> but I have some egg salad in here that I'm gonna put on toast. And then I mentioned yesterday, I think, that I cut up, or the day before yesterday, I cut up a uh, watermelon. And I put it in a couple of containers. Mmm. -hmm. Because it made so much, so much watermelon. Cold watermelon is just like superb. Mmm. Makes me feel like a healthy girl. <laughs> I'm gonna have this watermelon and then my egg salad on toast. And then we'll get back to studying. All right, you guys, I'm on my five minute break from a Pomodoro. Still making our way through community property. And, whoops, thought I would show you guys. I just bought in the mail. I've been ordering a lot of stuff recently, but the only thing that's actually arrived isn't isn't really that exciting um should have grabbed something to open this with but these are drum roll please my worst nightmare to help a girl achieve her dreams oh my god there we go they are my Barbary books. Let's see. Simulated MBE. Oh my god. That's the multiple choice stuff. Um, multi state practice questions. Mini review for California. Essay testing for California. Lecture handouts for California. And California performance test. Along with my self-start guide. And what is this? My book return form, which I actually don't have to return because I'm a bar prep, Barbary bar prep rep. All right, you guys, I'm heading out to go have dinner with my friend Alyssa. I'll bring in the camera with me, because why not? Um, we're going to a place called Avila's, which is in Old Town Orange, which is really cute. And it has a really good Mexican food. It's amazing. Um, we used to go there during school when things were open to celebrate stuff. Um, so I'm excited to go. Yeah, I have, okay, I gotta grab my, my stuff. I got my mask. Oh no, my battery is blinking, but I think I think I charged my other one. Oh, I also have to change my glasses. These are my blue light glasses. I don't need these right now. I didn't actually vlog <laughs> when I was out. Um, I just had a really lovely 
time and now I'm back home and I'm gonna get ready for bed because it's 8 o'clock and you know what that means? Bedtime for an early wake up tomorrow morning and back to studying. Hi! <laughs> Hello! It's me! Um, I should say good morning but it is 3 p.m. I've been sitting at the kitchen table all morning. I finished wills and trusts from last night and I outlined con law for my bar prep class so I'm halfway done with that. I finished um, my secure transactions outline yesterday and now I'm making like a rule statement chart and I did these take home questions um, and sent them to one of my other classmates to like compare and contrast our answers. I haven't touched my directed research that's going to be a problem for future me. My second draft is due tomorrow and I haven't started it so that's going to be something I do tomorrow I think <laughs> with a fresh brain because I'm exhausted already and it's 3 p.m. I've been going since I got up this morning, haven't left the house, haven't done anything really. Took a break um, to make some lunch and I had a smoothie while I worked through everything so it's been a really really productive day. Oh you know what I did is I made my smoothie and then I took a shower and I drank my smoothie while I did my skincare, which was so nice. <sighs> you guys, it's Thursday. We have Friday and then exams start next week. Ooh, my exams are Tuesday, Thursday next week. So I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday exam, Wednesday to study, Thursday exam, Friday vaccine, and then we do it all over again the next week except one exam in my directed research papers do. So, kind of wild. It's happening really quickly, um, but I'm actually gonna get back to work because I'm on a pretty good roll. I just like was starting to get a headache and got kind of frustrated. Not frustrated, but just kind of like bored <laughs> with what I was doing. So I'm gonna have a nice coffee. And then maybe it's like actually kind of hot today. So maybe I'll go for a walk closer to like five. It's three now. I also have to take the trash out. Adulting things. Keep thinking about the apartment I toured yesterday. It was so nice. Mm, probably not gonna work out with that one. But I scheduled three apartment tours. <laughs> three more. So I have one like, I have one on Saturday and then I have one next Saturday and I have one next Friday after I get my second vaccine shot. So. It's kind of wild. I'm gonna go look at three more places that are kind of like in the area of where I was yesterday. So it's very exciting. I just want a nice place that makes me feel safe and has all of the things that I want. Hello, it's been a while. Um, basically, since the last time I saw you, I ended up editing a video and like half of a week in my life video those just take so much longer um and i made dinner and you can see the beautiful golden light coming in i also went for a walk which is really nice and had a lovely time Ooh. facetiming my mom um it's like 7 20 now and I'm trying to decide what to do. Hmm, I'm tempted to just like power through some more studying and getting like my rule statements together. Um, then a part of me is also like, I kind of just want to take a shower and get in comfy clothes and rest for the night. But since I kind of took the afternoon off from studying, like I started editing at three, edited it until five, went on a walk and then made dinner and now it's seven. I feel like I should probably do something again. Um, I also made some coffee. <laughs> it's probably cold by now, I think it's cold. That's still a little warm. Part of me is just kind of like, I wanna veg, veg out and not do anything for the rest of the night and just watch the circle. Um, but I should probably finish up secure transactions today. I finished my outline, but I like to make a, a document that's really easy to copy and paste into the exam software with the open note take home exams that we have. So it's kind of passive in the sense that it's just formatting the rules. So I might just try to power through that tonight. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stop saying that I might and I'm just gonna do it. 
good morning and happy friday if you can hear like rain sounds in the background it's because i have a pomodoro video going and i'm actually at the end of it and i'm in like the 15 minute break at the end um i did like two hours of writing this morning um for my directed research which is good i've been procrastinating my second draft um there's like certain places I know I need to like go back and add stuff to. I just ran out of time. Basically, the thing that I'm writing about is so factual that I wanted to add like a couple more cases kind of illustrating the issue. Um, and I didn't do that in the beginning. Like I had it in my detailed outline and I had those cases in my research. So like I've read them before, uh, but I didn't have the stamina to, <laughs> to my first draft because uh, you guys saw it all in one day, which was psychotic of me. Um, but my second draft of my directed research is due tonight. So what I plan on doing is kind of, I'm gonna finish like the restructuring and the stuff that I'm adding to my paper. So basically there's like two different ways the rule applies and i'm trying to say that like this is the right way so i need to show enough examples of each way to be able to compare and contrast them and like reach my conclusion that this is the right one um so that's what i'm doing right now is i'm adding more like factual stuff in there and once i finish writing i'm going to save it on my ipad and then take my apple pencil and revise it with like a red pen kind of but i mean i can't actually do that because whatever um you know it's not like i can uh do that i have a printer here but this is like 37 pages long right now so it's really long to print out all right so the groceries are here this is a really big haul i haven't ordered groceries in like a week and a half so this is the most expensive groceries have cost me in a long time um, and it's a lot of stuff. So we'll go through all of it and I'll tell you kind of my thought process. Um, okay, <laughs> so on the side here we have this tikka masala. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna make um, like a, a Indian dish with it uh, because I got paneer, which is an Indian cheese. So I'm gonna throw those things together in whatever veg I have in the fridge. I have mayo because I'm going to be making egg salad and a chickpea salad sandwich this week. Um, so I needed more mayo because I'm almost out. I don't have onion powder, so I bought onion powder. Um, I, I need it for the chickpea salad sandwich. I'm gonna make black bean and sweet potato vegetarian tacos this week. So I have a can of black beans and some tacos, frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries for my smoothies. A big bag of potatoes because I'm out of my former bag of potatoes and those are great for whenever I want like home fries or a baked potato or even mashed potatoes. I love potatoes so I like having a big bag and I'll go through them by the time they start to sprout. Um, I have blue corn tortilla chips to make nachos because that's one of my favorite snacks to have in the evening. I have some coffee from Sprouts. Um, that protein powder, that expensive girl up in the back for my smoothies. Dijon mustard for the um, the chickpea salad sandwich. I don't have a can of chickpeas here, but that's because I have one in the pantry. <laughs> um, I have some baby potatoes for home fries and just to have, um, I like to plan out my meals to a certain extent, but I like having flexibility throughout the week in case my cravings are different. Um, I have tofu to make some air fried tofu. Um, I have bell peppers, which are good, and my eggs, or not, <laughs> these are not bell peppers, my brain's not working. Um, mini bella mushrooms, these are good, and my eggs, they're going to be good in the um, tikka masala sauce, and they're good with um, more like Mexican style dishes as well. I love them. I have baby carrots that I eat with my sandwiches on the side. I have a sweet potato that's gonna go with the tacos. A red onion, that's for the chickpea salad sandwiches. Two onions, um, just because they're a staple. And 
I use them in my home fries. And we have oat milk, which is for my coffee, almond milk for my smoothies, lettuce for the tacos and to make salads during the week for lunch, a green bell pepper to make with home fries and um, to do like fajita veggies for the tacos. I have some spring onions, some cilantro, some pico de gallo, avocado. Um. Okie dokie, I had to stop real quick. So let's see, where was I? Um, I think we were talking about these guys here. Um, the avocado is for the tacos and for the, um, well there's two avocados, so there's for the tacos and salads. Pico de gallo for the tacos, cilantro for the tacos, <laughs> and for the curry, um, and for pretty much anything. Cilantro goes on everything. Um, tomatoes to make feta pasta, because I have a feta left over from last week. Green onions, again, because they go with everything. <laughs> I like to put them in my eggs, I like to put them on my tacos, I like to um, put them literally in everything. Um, okay. I think I said romaine for salads and for the tacos. Got some eggs up here because there wasn't room. Baby spinach for smoothies. We have a cucumber. This is the cucumber for salads and a zucchini um, because I've been putting that in the feta pasta recently to get some extra veggies. Two limes for the tacos and just for like water <laughs> and two lemons as well. Um, Blueberries and strawberries because those are a staple for me and then some bananas and grapes So this is everything for the week um, And into next week as well. Hopefully you guys have an idea of kind of what I'm gonna be cooking I'm gonna put all this stuff away now um, I'm like almost out of a lot of things. I like never know when to buy groceries because like I'm low on spinach, like if I make one more smoothie, that's going to be gone. I have like one cup of, of coffee worth of oat milk left. Almond milk is like one smoothie away from being done. And then other things that like, if I didn't buy more grapes, I would run out of grapes in the beginning of the week, and then what am I supposed to do for the rest of the week? You know what I mean? Okay, so you got to put this stuff away and make something to eat. You guys, I'm a mess. Um... I'm trying not to panic or cry, but I was just like getting some stuff done and then was like, oh, let me check my state bar application. I don't know what compelled me to do that. But when I did, I realized I never got my fingerprints done and you need to do that for the state bar. <laughs> and you need to do it within 90 days of submitting your moral character application. And I submitted mine almost 90 days ago. It'll be 90 days on May 10th. So I have like, 10 days to get my fingerprints done and sent in. So I'm going today to a walk-in place. Um, there's a fingerprinting place that gave us discounted fingerprints, but it's like over an hour away and my directed research is due today. It's not officially due today. I just have the first draft due today. I just feel like I've been thrown for like a complete and total spiral and whirlwind. So we're gonna get dressed. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna leave. We're gonna go to this walk-in, this walk-in place, and I printed out the form, and I have not a lot of ink in the printer, so it like printed not great. Um, so we're gonna go to this walk-in, and I'm not gonna get the discount, and it's gonna be like $75 to get my fingerprints done and sent over, which sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna get my together. Gosh, I also haven't eaten because that completely threw me for a loop and I stopped like cooking. I like put the um, potatoes in the air fryer, but I didn't make my eggs. Um, so we're gonna get dressed. I'm gonna change out of this like comfy, comfy dress and put on something a little bit more um, appropriate. And we're gonna drive over to a local fingerprinting place and get my fingerprints done. Um, and then we're gonna come back here and just power through the rest of the directed research. It's like noon. I can't believe that this day is going by. Which is so funny because I feel like a second ago I was like, this is great. I feel great. Like, 
making such great progress. I can do it. I can meet the deadline. Ow. I don't know. I might be up really late tonight trying to get this done. Once my directed research is submitted, I can stop thinking about it for a couple of days and just focus on my exams that I have next week. Um, this is supposed to be layering necklaces, but they're kind of the same length. I also might be going to the apartment complex that I'd be the very first one that I looked at. I might be going there tomorrow because they have a unit available in July and um, it's at a good price and they want to lock me in. Ready? One, two, three. Yay! Um, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to wear my cute clothes because I spent so much of the pandemic in sweatpants at home in Connecticut and had all of these cute springy clothes here that I never wore. Um, and then I got my like new accessories and stuff, so I want to like be cute. Okay, maybe we'll get a coffee out of this trip. I'm trying to talk myself down from the ledge because I'm feeling a little panicked, um, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna wear my cute little white new slide-on shoesies, and then my purse is out there. I, I'm so annoyed at myself that I that I did this. I told myself when I was in Connecticut, oh, I could just like go to the police department and get my fingerprints taken and do that there. But then I never did that because there was a s snowstorm and the police department was only open on Thursdays because of COVID with like whatever. So, <laughs> so they decreased the number of like walk-ins they had for fingerprints. And I remember it was like a Thursday and it was snowing. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go when I get back. And then I came back to California and it just completely slipped my mind because I was quarantining for 10 days and then I started getting my vaccines and then school picked up and I just um, was not on the forefront of my mind anymore. Um, and here we are now, um, really cutting it close to the deadline of when your, my fingerprints need to be sent to the bar. So before I go, I'm actually gonna eat my food. Um, I have mushrooms that I just put on the stove and then some bell peppers, the green parts of a spring onion, the white parts, garlic, and then egg that I'm going to crack in there and add some cheese to that too. My potatoes are done in the air fryer. Um, I might just put them in for a little bit longer so they continue to crisp. I have 10 days to send this in. It's not like I have to do it immediately. Well, I mean, I need to do it immediately so I don't forget again. Um, I need to drink some water. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just, I'm annoyed at myself that I forgot to do this because this is kind of a big deal. Oh my gosh, and I wonder if my finger's gonna get messed up because I cut some of my finger off the other day. You guys. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. Let's see, I need my keys and my mask. So I don't know if I can pay for my fingerprints with a card. So I have my debit, I have my credit card, and I'm gonna stop at Bank of America because I need to deposit my last work check. So I'll just take out cash then too, and then we're gonna drive over to the place. Hopefully we'll be back here. It's like 12.41 right now. Hopefully we'll be back around two and that gives us 10 hours to do our second draft of our directed research. Y'all, the universe just isn't on my side today, but I am very grateful that like, I have time to do the things I need to do. I'm <laughs> driving to go and, get, go and get my fingerprints taken. And um, as I'm driving to the bank to deposit the check, there's like a huge cloud of smoke and a fire in like a nearby neighborhood kind of near my house like I'm looking in my rear view and the fire is like really the smoke is really thick um, so it took me a really long time to get down to this road and onto the freeway which I'm getting on now so I'm gonna stop vlogging but um, it just took a long time because of all the emergency vehicles and people stopping and stuff. So I am driving now. It's one o'clock and I will see you guys in a bit. 
probably after I get my fingerprints done. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see the smoke, but it's on this side of me now. All right, bye guys. Hi you guys, I've been back home for like two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. Um, and I've been working on my directed research this entire time, but my camera was in my bag, so I just came into my room to change back into this black dress. I make dinner now because my laptop's pretty much dead. It's like five o'clock. Um, oh, so like three hours. I've been home for three hours. I finished the section that I was working on for directed research, and I am going to pull it up on my iPad with a pencil next and do a bunch of like red line revisions and then go into my computer and do all of those. And then I'm gonna do a round of Grammarly and then I'm going to send that over to my professor for my second draft. Um, I'm pretty hungry, so I think I'm gonna make um, that Indian inspired dish with the jarred tikka masala and the paneer that I bought and some veggies cooked up in the sauce with some rice. That sounds really good to me. Um, my brain is feeling a little fried, so you know it's time for a break. I'm also so red. What a day, it's hot. And the house is like, it's so messy and like I don't, I don't love it. <laughs> and I don't think anyone likes living in mess. Um, so I'm going to clean too because it's so, like it's just not even, I'm also sitting in the dark because it's really hot <laughs> and I don't wanna turn the air on because it's gonna cool down soon, but maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but the house is just really cluttered because I just have been so busy and I haven't been like cleaning up after myself. <laughs> and there's freaking boxes everywhere and dishes everywhere and mail everywhere and clothes everywhere in my room and shoes everywhere on the floor. Like the things that would just take me maybe like 30 seconds to put away on any normal day, I haven't been doing and it's all starting to build up and it's making me overwhelmed, so. <laughs> Yeah. So here is dinner tonight. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. Um, I have some basmati rice underneath. Um, then there's this like tikka masala simmer sauce with paneer cheese and then a bunch of veggies. So there's red bell pepper, onion, garlic, mushroom, carrot, and then spring onions the whites are cooked in and then topped with the green ones and a bunch of cilantro so i'm gonna eat this up and i poured a Lacroix into my water cup so i'm gonna have my bubbly water with my yummy food and then we're gonna get back to editing my directed research woohoo i'm really exhausted it's 8 30. I'm like fixing my citations and going through Grammarly. There's still like a whole section I want to rewrite, but I'm, I just don't have the stamina to do it tonight. I'm gonna have to do it another day, <laughs> um, which is fine because this is not my final paper. My final paper's due in two weeks. It's gonna be all right. Um, this is just due today and it's 8.30, so 